Other income at 18 billion rupees largely represent the dividend income that the company has received from its subsidiary companies as well as the treasury gains that has got reported in the accounting period FI14. To comply with the SEBI requirement about minimum public shareholding uh, in LNT Finance Holding, which was a wholly which is a wholly owned subsidiary until it got listed in 2011, uh, LNT had to sell 6% uh, of its stake in the company, and consequently uh, the gain on the divestment uh, to meet the regulatory requirements meant 5.8 billion rupees of profits added on into the current year as exceptional items. Net of taxes, the profit after tax from the operating activity, ordinary activity is at 55 billion rupees, registers at 27% growth over the 43 billion rupees and we did not have any extraordinary item to report in the year FI14. Consequently, the profit after tax at 54.9 billion rupees, registers at 25% growth over the uh, corresponding uh, previous year's number. Looking at the segment analysis, where did our orders come from? Uh, as you can see, 941 billion rupees worth of orders largely came from the infrastructure segment. 81% of the orders were from that segment. Uh, we had heavy engineering, power, minerals, metals, all of them contributing around 3 to 4%, which is reflective of the sectorial issues and the policy indecision and consequently the project difference that are featuring these segments. Electrical business as well as machinery and industrial products did suffer from the general slowdown in the economy. However, the company has performed better as compared to the industry. Consequently, we were able to report a 9% share of the total order inflow from electrical business as well as machinery industrial products business. When it comes to order book, following the trajectory of the order inflow composition, 78% of the order book is in the infrastructure sector that we are required to execute followed by 10% in power sector, minerals and metal sector at 6%, heavy engineering at 4 and the rest at 2. Looking at each of the segment in uh, detail, uh, we have infrastructure segment which is the largest segment under the current segmental reporting that we do. Uh, it has recorded a revenue of 343 billion rupees for the financial year 14, which is a 23% growth over the 279 billion of the previous year. It's also important to note that this, this segment also grew 37% in terms of fresh order intake. So the revenue growth actually is following the order inflow uh, growth. 53 billion rupees out of 343 billion rupees is from international orders, uh, international uh, contracts and they represent a 18% growth over the 44 billion rupees of international revenue in the previous year. EBITDA margins have improved from 11.3% to 12.3%, largely on account of efficiency in execution and smart contract management. Looking at the next segment, which is minerals, metals and material handling, uh, this segment did suffer from a lot of policy indecision on go, no go in terms of mining policies. Consequently, the investments in these sectors were muted and which is reflected in the fact that as compared to FI13, FI14 registered uh, a lower growth. Uh, we had uh, in the year as uh, whole FI14 revenue from this segment at 53 billion rupees, which is 9% lower than the 58 billion rupees of the previous year. There was a modest presence of this business in international markets uh, at 1 billion rupees out of the total revenue of 53 billion rupees. EBITDA margins by and large have been maintained at 17% as compared to 17.9 of the previous year, a reduction of 90 basis points. When it comes to power, the segment similarly follows the constraints that the mines, minerals, metals segment follows. Uh, there have been several issues which have been plaguing this sector. Consequently, the, uh, the company could not procure adequate number of orders from the power segment. The revenues as we execute the projects that we are having in our bag collected over the previous years are coming down as the projects reach their advanced stage. So consequently for the year as a whole, we uh, clocked a revenue of 51 billion rupees in power sector which is lower by 36% as compared to 80 billion rupees. Now unless the power segment recovers and we begin to procure 
fresh orders, uh, the trajectory would indicate that the existing order book would get vacated by execution and the new orders will have to take their place in the revenue charts of the company. EBITDA margin for the sector at 11%, uh, growth of uh, growth over 7.9% of the previous year is representative of the margin releases as the project reaches their closure on account of existing order book. Heavy engineering segment uh, has a revenue of 42 billion rupees, uh, a growth of 51% over the 27 billion rupees and uh, a large portion of the revenue is also from international markets, 13 billion rupees out of 42 billion rupees is from international orders and the EBITDA margins at 18.2% is lower than 21.3 of the uh, previous year largely due to the uh, under recoveries and cost escalations during execution. Electrical and automation business, the revenue is at 33.98 billion rupees for the year FY14 has grown by 7% over the 31 billion rupees. The international revenue out of 33.98 billion is 4.69 billion, a growth of 33% over the previous year. And the margins have improved by 60 basis points from 13.6% to 14.2%. We have commenced seeing some recovery in this segment and we hope the recovery will strengthen in the quarters ahead. Machinery and industrial uh, products, the segment uh, has a revenue of 18.35 billion rupees, down by 18% uh, down by as compared to 22.25 billion rupees. The reduction is largely on account of portfolio restructuring that we have done during FI14. Some of the businesses that we were running as part of divisions of LNT have been rightfully housed in subsidiary companies which are doing the manufacturing activity relating to these businesses. So what we have achieved in this restructuring is to house the marketing and manufacturing in similar entity. Consequently, what is seen as a reduction in revenue in standalone financials will reflect as growing revenue in the consolidated segmental results. The EBITDA margins of this segment follows the decline in the revenue and they are at 12.7% for the year that is getting reported FY14 as compared to 16.3% of the previous year. But for the reasons that I said, they are not strictly comparable. The other segment mainly consists of the income that we get from technology services and realty business. And the income that this segment has reported for FY14 is 23 billion rupees, a growth of 54% over the 15 billion of the previous year. Uh, there has been a 30% growth in the uh, technology services business and that augurs well. It is good to keep in view that effective 1st April 2014, we have shifted this business into wholly owned subsidiary called LNT Technology Services. So this would be the last year that we would be reporting technology services results as part of LNT standalone. EBITDA